Just look at that mop of growth. Look at it. What's up, YouTube? It's Al from BackyardNursery.org, and I'm super excited here to share with you my experiment with rooting figs. So I searched all over YouTube, all over the internet to find the best ways to actually take fig cuttings and then generate roots. And I tried a bunch of different methods, and this is uh, a method that I kind of sandwiched together based on some other things that I had seen online and some things that I had learned from early cuttings that I experimented with directly here. But what I'm here to tell you is that with this method, I got roots, visible roots through the container at 17 days, and we have some massive roots for some of the cuttings in 33 days. So let's check it out. So the equipment I use is pretty simple. You see, I have a one gallon, it's a trade gallon container, and I have a one quart container. It was actually a clear container, it's a soup container. And those are what I used. So then I put the cuttings into this mixture of uh, vermiculite and cocoa coir. And what I wanted to do was cut the uh, frags, or I'm sorry, cut the cuttings even smaller. And so you see, I basically just doubled up. I took a long single cutting and I doubled up to see if I would be any more successful. And the basic premise is that I'm gonna use a second container on top that has holes in it. It has the drainage holes, but now they're on top. And I'm gonna use that to, to mostly shade while I also use bottom heat. And so you see that right now the temperature is 79 degrees. I had it set right around 80 degrees. And I have a dome on top of these cuttings that are in the moist substrate. And I left them there. And I'm just showing you this. I'm sorry that the sideways video, but I wanted to show you that I, I did add a third type of cutting and I left it full length size. And I just wanted to have that as a comparator, like a, a baseline in the experiment to see if the cutting seems to make any difference. Covered it back up. One other thing I want to show you is that I did spray them or spritz them periodically to keep the cuttings moist. And here it is. This is 17 days later, and you can already see roots. Roots. We have roots at 17 days. They're not giant yet, but we have roots. All right, so now this is 33 days later, and I just want to show you. I took it out. We have some massive root growth here. So between day 17 and day 33, gigantic, colossal, massive roots. All right, they're not that big, but oh, there's another root. Roots. Check them out. And we have top growth as well. You can see the top growth sticking out. This is me shaking the container. Notice the technique. You shake the container and then you poke yourself in the eye with a stick. All right, so that was the first one that came out and it doesn't look like there's much growth there. So we don't have even root growth. We have um, a subset of these drawing the, or driving the majority of the root growth. And you can tell I'm just, I'm trying to be super gentle. I don't want to break any roots. I don't want to, damage any of these cuttings here's the second one i am contemplating it deeply showing it to the camera and it's hard to see it's hard to see coconut coir has like strings anyway i think that that's coconut coir so right now we're 0 for 2 0 for 2 note the shaking methodology again shake it till you make it that's what i always say And what I'm going to do is block the camera so that you can't see what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you know, this is not good cinematography right now. This is a knucklehead uh, blocking the camera with a, an opaque container. So that was the long one. That was the long one and no roots. And here's where all those roots are coming from. You'll see that they're coming from two cuttings. And it's actually two different varieties. So one of the smaller cuttings of each of the first two varieties are what was showing all of those crazy roots. Look at that mop. It's like a dirty mop. I hope dirty mop doesn't mean something else on the internet. And if it does, I'm sorry. All right, so there you go. Results, 33 days in. And so I took the two cuttings that had both top growth and root growth, and I potted them up. I potted them in my now famous Taco Bell cups. I eat way too much Taco Bell, which you wouldn't believe if you looked at my figure, but surprisingly, I do. And um, and actually, I love those cups because they're tall and narrow and perfect for um, trees and rooting things with, with long roots. 
So that's basically it. So I'm going to tuck this one in and tuck the other one in and I have potted them up. I did put the cuttings back in the container and back on the bottom heat and I have them going a little bit longer to see if I can develop some roots. And so having success from two out of five cuttings, that's not like blow the doors off spectacular, but what I love about it is how fast it actually worked to see that it worked on two different um, varieties of fig and to see that the small cuts outpaced the big one. So uh, I don't know, I think that these are intriguing. And, and so the methodology basically involved using a container to mostly shade them, but also have good ventilation because it had ventilation holes uh, and keeping it on top heat. And, uh, and what the other thing that was cool about it is that the growth that came out of the top was lush, healthy, green growth. When I compare that to some other methods that I've used where I, I've um, created the rootings in a closed Ziploc bag, those sprouted top and bottom, but the top growth was, um, was weak and not healthy. It had zero chlorophyll in it, and a lot of them wilted once they came out and dried up, or I should say they dried up once they came out of the bag. And so um, I think this technique has some promise here because it's combining the best of both worlds. So I hope you learned something there or at least enjoyed checking this out. And I'm, I'm curious if you can recreate this experiment or if you have any kind of similar experience by using bottom heat and darkness with good ventilation uh, to propagate your figs. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Thanks.